Hello, you and Remember Hugh Edwards, the BBC newsreader, who was caught out just not being a gentleman. 35 grand for pictures. Hugh, mate, what were you up to, man? Anyway, Hugh Edwards has been traced. What do you mean he's been traced? I thought he was in hospital. Yeah, he was, but he's currently residing in Wales. Didn't you know that? He's beloved Wales. Uh, seemingly, Hugh Edwards has resurfaced. He's been traced living in Wales. But here's where it gets interesting. Married man Hugh Edwards is living mostly with his mother. Oh, I say. Why would that be? Well, there's no mention of the wife. That's for certain. Why? Well, forgive me for being a cynical old tart, but it's very similar to the story that's being promulgated about Philip Schofield. It's always pictures of him walking the dog, stroking the growler, uh, and then with his wife. And now Hugh Edwards, the start of uh, the story, the continuation of the story, and he resurfaces in Wales, living with his mum. Really? So there's been nine months of nothingness. Napped. Nix. Nada. Nothing. We were told, oh, he's going into hospital because he's a very poorly puppy. And then nine months later, after nothingness, nine months of nothingness, feels like a pregnancy. He's then living with his mother. How old is he? Twelve? Now, there could be, and again, forgive me for being a cynical old tart, there could be the view, and the optics are as such, that they could be getting him back into some kind of profile, media profile. It's the start of the hero's journey, the return to national profile. Well, if he's in the dailies, he must be. Now, I understand that he's currently on full pay. Full pay to him means £439,000 a year. That's about eight and a half grand a week, over £1,000 a day. Nice work if you can get it for doing absolutely naff all, sitting on the sofa pulling the head off it. So, it appears that young Hugh is no longer in hospital. That's a story in itself, surely, because we were told by his wife, Vicky Flint, that when he comes out of hospital, he will address the accusations being made against him. And dare he hasn't? And his wife, Vicky Flint, doesn't appear to be with him. I quote, Hugh is now living in Wales, mostly with his mother. It's just easier that way. Now it's that it's just easier that way. Says a whole lot without saying anything. Is the marriage in trouble? Is the missus very, very brassed off at him? And the only bit of sucker he can get is with his mum, where nobody's going to disturb him. Now, I would suggest to you that this is being PR'd to within an inch of its life. Former News of the World editor Andy Coulson, is he still... Crisis managing the story, if it was to be believed that he was involved at the beginning in getting Hugh into hospital or advising Hugh going to hospital with his wife, Vicky Flint. They were the initial reports. But I've got three questions that naturally just trip off the tongue. One, why isn't he living with his wife, Vicky Flint? Seems the most natural thing in the world. Two, Who's crisis managing this particular story? And three, so if he's still on full pay, they haven't sacked him, the BBC. Is this the start of the hero's journey, the return? The hero's journey is the man that finds himself and has to deal with himself before succeeding, ultimately. But as the hero's journey, if he's still on full pay, is this the start and the return of Hugh Edwards in 2025. Let's see how this unfolds. My name's Adrian Allen. Don't forget to smash the likes. Please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel for more videos that are coming soon. But most of all, thank you for your indulgence. And I'll see you in the next video.